want to. I, I, it says here that you had your tennis racket stolen by someone in the apartment building. Yeah, it was devastating. So, um, two nights ago, I, uh, I left my tennis rackets on the letterbox, and uh, the landlord wanted to show me a brand new car park downstairs. So, I went downstairs with him for 30 seconds. I came back up, tennis rackets are gone, oh. right? <laughs> Oh my God. And I watched a lot of, uh, you know, Inspector movies, Inspector Rex. I morphed into Inspector Rex, the German Shepherd. And I thought, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, in a way I did. And then I thought, (laughs) you know what? I reckon someone in this apartment building has taken the rackets. Yes. So I started door knocking apartments. It was 8 p.m. at night. Gosh. And I haven't, there are about 25 apartments, and I don't know many of the neighbors. But it's a wonderful way to get to know them by accusing them of stealing. <laughs> <laughs> and what were they? Were, were they a Yonix or a Prince racket? Oh no, no, top of the line heads, Brownie. And uncannily enough, everyone had been losing things at the letterbox, oh. and they're like, "No." But by the way, I lost a skateboard. Uh, just went missing. Uh, another lady lost a kettle. And I was like, "Okay." Why kettle. is that woman uh, got a kettle out of her apartment and at the letterbox? Uh, look, I was too focused on my investigations okay, sure, to sure, worry about that. Sure. And um, <laughs> it was good. it's also these people are coming out in their 90s and stuff. So it's quite, you don't want to be too um, overbearing. No. So I kept on and then I, I opened a door and there's a topless guy with dreadlocks and he says to me, you're here for the tennis rackets. And I said, <gasps> yes, I am. And he has everything in his apartment. I saw it all. <laughs> I saw skateboards. I saw kettles. I saw toasters. And then I said to him, I said, mate, why did you take the rackets? And he goes, they were near the letterbox. And anything near the letterbox is fair game. I'm like, is that the rule? He goes, yeah, that's the rule. (laughs) So I'm like, you know what I'm going to do today? I'm going to steal his car. Because his car (laughs) is right near that letterbox. Yes. (laughs) But, and I need, and I need a car. (laughs) 